New York. Michael Cohen, from former Trump Organization, stated in state court that his ex-boss Donald Trump instructed him to play an annual financial statements to show net value he wanted. Arrow Wright Trump Organization employee Patrick Burney said in court that a senior manager told him that he wanted to make a bigger profit in Trump's annual statements to banks and insurance companies. Insurance insurer Claudia Moradian, who taken to statement at the hearing, said she relied on Trump's claim that a statement stating that sum of golf and real estate assets was about $6 billion confirmed by professional valuation experts. These were among the allegations made during the six-week hearing and statements in a lawsuit filed against Trump and his job by New York Attorney General Letitia James. The lawsuit tried to prove that the former president, his adult sons and companies, deliberately exaggerated the values Trump included in his annual financial statements to achieve better conditions than bankers and insurers. James filed his case last year banned New York Supreme Court Judge Arthur Engeron from fining the company at least $250 million and borrowing or owning Trump his family in New York he wants him to make it inoperable. While James' side was resting Wednesday, the defense team would begin presenting his case on Monday. The chief prosecutor's office tried to show Trump as a figure largely dependent how he was compared to other billionaires and developers. Financial records to strengthen its position. Numerous documents presented at the hearing also revealed inconsistent and irregular methodologies in compiling the company's financial statements for its own benefit. In total, 25 witnesses were called to discuss documents and share first-hand narratives. Each said they knew little about creation of financial documents at the center of hearing. Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump said they trusted the company's accountants this month. If they reassured me that these things were good with their expert opinions, I wouldn't have asked for it and I would sign it accordingly said Donald Trump Jr. legal analysts and other observers, except Cohen, who previously admitted he was lying sworn and fed a well-documented, accepted grudge against him. They say that the statement so far has potential shortcomings, including no employee expressing Trump has ordered to change values. Embers, however, case clearly disturbed Trump, who repeatedly attended and condemned the hearing during trial. It also has great meanings for itself and its company. Seeing case without a jury, Engeron decided before hearing that Campani's financial statements were fake and demanded a record to terminate Trump's assets in state. George Washington University law professor Stephen A. If you had to win this case on the basis of people working with Trump, you would have had a hard time, Salzburg said in an interview. Salzburg said in James' public statements to date that Strawn